The opioid crisis has hit our community and really the entire country really hard. People are losing their lives, but it's the children they leave behind who may be impacted the most. Some of them addicted themselves. In Michigan last year, more than 800 babies were born addicted to the opioids, 286 of them right here in Metro Detroit. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes a look at the innocent victims and introduces us to a young boy with a story you won't soon forget. You've heard about the people who have lost their lives to the heroin epidemic, but there are also the youngest victims, the babies that are born addicted and the children who lose their parents. You've seen the viral images of parents overdosing in front of their children. Oh my God. Lawrence police in Massachusetts released this video of a toddler trying to revive her mom after she apparently overdosed. East Liverpool police in Ohio released this photo of parents who overdosed at the wheel with their four year old in the back seat. Heroin hurts countless children. Brendan Russell is like any kid. He loves sports, especially doing tricks on his scooter. He would also love to do fun things with both his mom and his dad. But for the first five years of his life, both of them were using heroin. They left him with relatives. I was kind of used to like not seeing him for uh, like a year at a time. They just told me that she was at work. You want to come home so bad, but you can't because you're just too sick and you, you need to stay away. So then you don't know how to get better. Jamie Newbeck says she found herself in and out of jail for crimes committed to feed their heroin addiction. She says a judge saved her life when she sentenced her to 18 months in prison for shoplifting. In prison, she got treatment. Her two sons motivated her to stay sober. She became the mom she wanted to be. You cannot overwhelm yourself with looking at the top of the mountain. Literally look at the step that you're about to take. I kind of felt lucky because like, like most kids, they, they can't have even one of their parents come back from that. But Brendan's dad continued to struggle. I always thought, yeah, he's going to be sober one day. Then when my mom told me that he died, I figured out that he couldn't play with me ever again. I just had to tell him and he just, he just collapsed crying. He just, um, he just cried. I just want to see him again. Brendan's dad, Jesse Russell, died just over a year ago. That's when he first got home. When he looks at family photos of his dad, he sees a man who loved him. Jamie says people wrongfully assume addicts don't care about their children. Most of us care more than you'd ever know. You know, like that's part of the reason it keeps us using is the pain of what we've done and who we've hurt. Still doctors say from what they see, more and more children will be hurt. More people are using heroin and many of them are pregnant. It's been an exponential increase over the last 10 years. At Children's Hospital in Detroit, doctors say lately there is always a tiny newborn fighting that nightmare. They look uncomfortable, they're crying all the time. <coughs> they have seizures, they can have tremors. Doctors often wean them off opiates with morphine. The treatment is the difference between life and death. Sometimes if this is missed, they can actually succumb or die. <coughs> it didn't used to be this way. The most recent CDC report found that the number of babies born addicted has more than tripled since 1999. To see it in a newborn that hasn't even had a chance to really prove themselves yet is really sad. Brita Wanhala volunteers at Children's Hospital, giving sick babies the cuddling they need. This tiny patient is not addicted. She helped her because we were unable to get permission from the parent of a baby going through withdrawal. They need a lot more love and attention than some of the other babies that are here. It has increased the demand for foster families to take care of newborns while parents get treatment. One of the things that we do here is it is harder to find uh, a foster care placement for any child coming into care. It is a story Brendan says needs to be told. He doesn't want to see other children feel the pain he feels. It hurts the kid that has to deal with that stuff. And it's not really their fault. I shouldn't deserve this. Put your goal as saying, I'm going to do this for my kid because, I don't know, it might work out better. CPS managers say all too often parents don't ask for help because they're afraid of losing their children. They want parents struggling with addiction to know the state policy is to help parents recover whenever possible.
Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Oh my goodness, what a brave little boy and, and thank goodness his mom got the help she needed. Yeah, you'd hope anybody who's going down that road looks at that story and realizes the impact of what they do has on those children. And, and as, as she says, they do recognize it, but please look at it carefully. Yeah. Pay attention to that and see what the kids are going through. Think about their future. right now.